bro. Nigga, I just on the way. Bro. 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 I swear to God, bro. Y'all got me fucked up, bro. I swear to God, bro. It is Monday, December 12, 2016. At approximately 10 p.m. in Orlando, Florida, a man is walking home after buying cigarettes from 7-Eleven. He sees a familiar face, and a conversation strikes. Suddenly, a silver revolver is pointing to his head. He is getting robbed at gunpoint. The man pointing the gun demands everything he has. He takes the victim's phone and wallet and proceeds to shoot him in the hip. The suspect flees the scene. Detectives get on the case. The victim survives and is able to pick out the familiar face in a photo-generated lineup. The shooter's name is Caleb Hayward, a 19-year-old with a history of robberies. A week prior, on Tuesday, December 6, 2016, Caleb broke into someone's home, armed with that same silver revolver with the intention of killing. The victim from that instance also positively identified Caleb, who he knew as Hot Slash Glow. Caleb was interrogated on Tuesday, December 13, 2016, at around 4 p.m. Let's see this meltdown unfold. Hello, hello! Mr. Hayward. Hello, wake up, man. Mm -hmm. Are you awake? Mm -hmm. I'll be up by the chair. Yeah, grab one. Mr. Hayward, how are you? You want some water? Caleb! Yeah. Wake up! Yeah. How you doing, my man? You doing all right? Caleb! Yes, sir. Are you awake, man? I brought you some water. Yeah, we're gonna take the cuffs off you, okay? You're gonna be all right? Excuse you're not, me. You have an act silly, are you? Yes, sir. All right, man. That's what I'd like to hear. All right, Caleb, stand up for me. Gotta stand up. Face the face the corner. Yeah, come on this way. Face the corner. Get the cuffs off. Dude, are you okay? Yeah. I'm tired. Are you, are you drunk or high? Or what's no, going on? I'm tired, man. Okay. You don't have any drugs? No. Okay. Put your hands on the wall for me. Your left arm on the wall. Alright, man. Take a seat. Here we go. Listen, my name is Detective Crudo. I'm with the Orlando Police Department. This is going to be mine. Detective Javier. Uh, hey, first name's Adam. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, what's your last name? Hayward. You got to speak up, Crudo. Hayward. 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 Is it Hayward? Yeah, Hayward. And what's your date of birth? Mm, hey, hey, look at me. Speak yeah. up. What's the date of birth? 10 what? Here. You want Drink some water? water? Yo! Yeah. Drink some water. You want some water? Yeah. You asked for some water. Are you going to hold it or are you going to spill it? No, I'll do it? Two hands, two hands. Let's have a drink. It might make you feel better. Caleb, look at me. Yeah. I need you to be awake for this, okay? Yes, sir. This is important while we're here. Right, so wake up. I'm listening. Are you sure you're not high or anything like that? No. Okay. <clears throat> Do me a favor. Raise up your right hand for me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give in this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, you swear? Yes, okay. So before I get started... Today's date is December 
thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. Uh, sorry, two thousand sixteen. And the time is about sixteen twenty hours. We're in CID interview number six. All right, Caleb. Caleb, mm. wake up, man. Yeah. Stay with me here. Do you have any idea why you're here? No. No. Okay. Are you interested to know why you're here? Are you sure? So you gotta you gotta try to stay awake and talk to me. Okay. So what's going on? Huh? What's going on? Well, that's what I'm trying to talk to you about. But if you keep falling asleep and nodding off, right, I'm, I'm not gonna have a conversation. Kind of real. Okay. Look at me. I'm gonna read you your rights. You ever had your rights read to you? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Yes. Say yes or no. Yes. Anything you say may be get, may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Caleb, do you understand? Caleb. Caleb, you want to you want to talk or not? I do. Man. Okay, so stay awake. Okay, Answer the man's so question so we move along. I'm reading right. you your rights. Answer the man so we right. understand. On, Stop me. falling asleep. All right, come on. Let's Maybe I got time to play that game. Bro, I need to go home. Bro. All right, well, we'll let, listen to what we got to tell you. Then we'll move along. We're gonna start over. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Got to say yes or no. You got to speak up so we know you understand. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, why don't be provided for you before questioning without charge? Do you understand? That's what I'm trying to do. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? Yes, sir. No. Okay. You're shaking your head no. Yes, sir. Okay. You haven't been threatened. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you have no idea why we're here at all. So tell me about what, how, how do you end up here today? Because you didn't drive down here. You were in handcuffs, right? Because my mom did drive me off. My eyes still there. But how did you come across to, to come into contact with some officers? Like, tell me about what happened. Oh, because I thought they called it on, on, on the two that they went down and already got. I thought they called it. I thought they called it. You thought that they called? Yeah, I just did. Like, I ain't got nothing on no shit. I'm just playing okay. to them. What happened with, with my little sister? Okay. What's your history? Like, you ever been in trouble before? What kind of trouble have you been in? Burglaries. What is it? Burglaries. Burglaries? Okay. Do you ever go to prison or what, what kind of, what are we talking? Yeah, I did go for I mean, Not for that, I was in prison with Robert with Fire. We're just, you gotta speak I was in prison for Robert with Fire. You were principal? In I was in prison for Robert with Fire. Robert with Fire. Tell me about that case. What was, what, what was the story there? They dropped it because it wasn't me. But you went to prison, so you didn't, they didn't drop it if you went to prison. I went to prison for that. So what'd you go to prison for? I went to prison basically just to get out for probation, actually. But you got probation for it? I'm not on probation. Okay. When did you get out of prison? Mm, October. For me. October? So it's been like, if I remember, about two months? Hmm? Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, what part of t- what part of town have you been staying at? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to you got to speak clearly. Well, my bro, I just got kicked out. Bro. I just got kicked out. Bro. You want some more water? I never even had no water. Look, I'm asking if you want that. You no, want your water? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Listen, man, we're gonna cut to the chase because I don't know if you're tired or what's going on with you, be. You seem like you're almost like you don't want to be here talking to me. But where were you last night around 10 o'clock? Mm, 10 o'clock. Where was I my uncle's house? Your uncle's house? Yeah. Okay, where's your uncle's house? Uncle. He's still over there at Water Britney's. Once it's across from the Britney's. Across from the Britney's? Okay. Not across from the Britney's, but across from the. Uh, okay. There's a... Oh, hi. Okay. Where'd you go when you left? I stayed there all night, bro. All right, well, that's not... Uh, we have some information that 
to the contrary to that. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to show you some some other. I'm going to show you some pictures. <coughs> Fall asleep now. No. No, it's a challenge. I must say, I'm just trying to do right, bro. I'm trying to do right. Yeah. You recognize this? It's a Facebook page. Snap Life True. I was told it's your page. I know my page. Alright, you all. Your name and your phone is connected to that page. Your name's actually right there, Caleb, right in the URL. And your phone number comes back to that page as well. Yeah, that's what's signed in my phone. What's that? No, that's what's signed in my phone, that's on my page. On my cousin page. Well, um, it's, uh, it's connected to you, so. I don't know what to tell you there, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. I know okay. I, everybody around me, they stay you. Okay. Well, here's the thing. So last night, there was a guy on uh, Rosewood Way walking from the 7-Eleven, walking along Rosewood, but kind of near the bus stops there. There's four bus stops. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right? He was over by, in the grass, <clears throat> and he said that you guys spoke for a little bit. You remember meeting him? I can show you a picture of him. that help you. Remember seeing that guy last night? Cause he remembers I'm you. I'm a dog. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do. What do you know about him? I'm a dog. I know him from like about certain type of shit. What's his name? Um, I you said he's your dog. Yes, right. I know. I, okay, look, I know what that means. Uh, he's my homeboy, but I know him for a long time. How long is a long time? Uh, two, three years. So when you say you've known him for a long time, you say that. Like you guys have hung out before? Or? Um, I know him. Like you know how you, you leave school, you come and you go, oh, what's up, what else in the park? Right. No, and right. You, so obviously you guys have talked. Friendly conversations? You ever have any beef with them or anything? Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you said it's been a couple of years you know him? I have not seen him probably like two weeks ago. The last time you saw him was two weeks ago? Okay, but the first time you met him was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Okay. All in that area, that part of town. Yeah, right now. So, yeah. do you remember seeing him last night? No, mm -hmm. I seen him all that night. It was too much. Okay, well, here's the thing. Last night, he went to the hospital, and he claims, he swears, as a matter of fact, that you robbed him at gunpoint. Yeah. With actually, with that gun right there. <clears throat> And a matter of fact, he was actually shot in the hip. He's okay. He's gonna be fine. But this, this is why we're here. So here's the thing: you're shaking your head. And what you need to think about is, you just told me that you've known that guy for a couple of years. You know him from around the neighborhood, that kind of thing. Which actually, <coughs> that helps his case because it actually means that he would have no problem picking you out because I showed him a photo lineup like six pictures and he picked you out immediately as soon as he saw you he was like boom that's the guy right there shot him in the hip took his wallet took his phone so what I'm trying to find out from you is I don't have a doubt that you're the one who did it I, I know you did what I want to know is he told me and this is this is G shit this is truth he said he'd never met you before he said he kind of recognized you from the neighborhood but not like he knew you so here's what I want to know was it an argument that started? Did he pull a gun on you and you defend yourself and you shot him and that's what this is about? Like, but I need yeah. to get your side of the story because right now all I got is his saying, hey man, Caleb shot me in the hip, took my wallet, took my, uh, my iPhone, not his iPhone, it was an LG phone, and took off with it. Bruh, with LOL, uh, this phone, bro, I don't know nothing about none of that, bro. That's 
for it out of um ok is there any way you could work on on helping me get his phone back or the wallet i know i know ah what kind of phone is it uh it's a lg he didn't know the brand but lg something anybody got a type of lg i ain't gonna lie i could bruh i bruh what's what are you gonna say bruh i know people bruh you feel me you know people well i don't know what that means like i know i know people around that area that be doing stuff like that you feel me ok but look 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 so he said it was you not other people yeah so why i mean ask let me answer this question why would he why would he pick you out you know what happened? That's the same reason I went on the road the first time. I got picked up by the line. I got picked up by the line. Mm. It wasn't me that dropped his charge. Okay, but in this case, this isn't the only case while we're here. But you just told me, you just said on the record. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. You just said on the record that you known that guy for several years. Seen him a bunch of times. If that's what you're telling me, that... The idea that he mistakenly picked you out, that doesn't add up because it's not two random people that have never seen each other. You've seen him a bunch of times. I've been working with my friend Joel here for years, 12 years now. If Joel robbed me, I'd know who it was right away. There's no doubt in my mind because we know each other. So just like you and this guy, his name is Terrell. You and Terrell know of each other for several years. This is your words. You said it. I didn't say it. Don't sit here and try to tell me you don't know nothing about nothing. This is your one opportunity you're going to have to tell me your side of the case. What I think happened, maybe there was some sort of argument, a disagreement. Maybe he also had a firearm, pulled it out. You're in fear for your life and you're like, holy crap, this guy's going to kill me. You do, you know, you look away, you shoot him because you hit him in, you hit him in the hip. He's, he's he actually wasn't even admitted to the hospital. He went, he, he got treated and they released him that same night. So if that's what happened, we need to get your side of the story out. But if we don't have that from you, if you sit there and want to tell me you don't know nothing about nothing, the jury's going to hear what you said. Yeah, i known that guy for several years, so on, so on, whatever. They're going to go, okay, he's saying he knows the guy. Well, then it's not an unknown person. It's not a random person he's ever seen. So this is your chance to try to get your side of the story out. Mm, I don't know nothing about <laughs> You still want to stick to that? Yeah. I don't really know what the fool talking about, bro. I got family situations coming up. Well, I mean, how can you explain? Like, think about it this way. So picture, like, when we're done here, right? Yes, sir. Whatever paperwork we've done, I have several files here. Detective Javier's got his paperwork as well. We send it all down to the courthouse. It gets down there. Several months go by, and however long it is, you, you're meanwhile sitting in jail waiting, right? Mm. Eventually, as it makes its way, these files make their way around. A lot of people are going to read them, right? Like this attorney is going to read them, and judges and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Eventually, like when enough people look at it, what do you think the average person is going to say when they they read everything and they go, "Okay, Mr. Hayward admits." That he's known this guy for a couple of years, seen him around the neighborhood plenty of times, they've talked and hung out and whatnot. And then this guy, his name is uh, Radford, Mr. Radford. Right? Mr. Radford says, yeah, I was walking and this guy freaking Caleb pulls a gun on me, takes my stuff, shoots me and runs away. You think that they're going to believe you and if you just go, that nah, wasn't me. Well, this is in this apartment's over, and they say around the time. I'm sorry, you gotta speak clear. They say, bro, the whole, the whole time police was over in the next section of the park. What are you talking about? Police were there when yesterday? When that went down, yeah. So where were you? I was ducked off. Where were you? Ducked off. The apartment's across from Missouri. How would that. you know if there were police out there? Because somebody already said it, bro. They said, no, go out there, bro. Two of police out there. Still not. Still not at all. I, hey, I ain't gonna lie, sir. I'm gonna tell you, sir. You gonna yes, tell me sir. what happened? I don't know nothing, sir. All right. What about? Let me ask you. Let's show you another picture of somebody. This guy says that you know him. 
He runs a little recording studio out of his apartment there, right in that area. Yeah. This guy here, you ever seen him before? All right, because he says he's known you for a long time as well. Um, um, last week on the 6th, which I think was <clears throat> Monday night, Tuesday morning, early Tuesday morning, he said that it was you and three other guys with different street names. He said your street name is Glow. Yeah. And another guy named Hop, or Boss, is it Boss? Um, Went to his apartment, basically held two people at gunpoint, shot them, took all their recording equipment. But it's the same thing. Here's the thing. He told me, both those, there's two victims in that case from last week. They both said that they've also seen you around and like acquaintances. They didn't know your first name, but they know you and they... Is it the hostage brothers, the people I have around? Okay, but here's the thing. You're Caleb Hayward, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, the phone number, they actually had your phone number in their phones, right? Yeah. I searched your phone number. It, the service provider is Metro PCS, and according to Metro PCS, it belongs to you currently. Caleb Hayward, your date of birth and everything. So when they give me the phone number because they remember your number, actually one of the victims, you once borrowed his phone to call your phone because you lost your phone. I don't know if you remember that a couple weeks ago. The one, the, this guy's name is, uh, is uh, Nicholas. Nicholas King, little guy, little small guy. Who? This, this victim's name, his name is Nicholas King. So he said that one time you guys were hanging out in that guy Leroy's apartment. You had asked him... Hey, can I borrow your phone? I don't know where my phone is. And you, you called your phone from his, trying to find yours. So he had, he actually, and he was right, because I looked at his phone, and sure enough, he had your number in there. So I got this guy, Leroy, giving me your phone number. The other guy didn't know your phone number, but it was in his phone. Same number. I check with Metro PCS. Metro PCS goes, yep, it belongs to this guy, Caleb Hayward. Right, and then I show them pictures of you, and they both identify you, just like the guy last night also identified you. For you to sit here and try to tell me that you don't know nothing about nothing, man, go ahead and roll with that. You can go to prison for a long time, but I'm trying to give you an opportunity here that if there's more to these stories, if it was a drug deal gone bad, or like I said yesterday, I think maybe it was more of a self defense thing. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because the guy that the guy that was shot last night was no angel, right? He he done some dirt in the past and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to look at is if it was self defense and maybe he maybe he tried to roll you, did something that spooked you and then you shot him in self defense. And if that's the case, hey man, let's go forward from there. But we got to be mad, you know. We got to be real about it. We can't just sit here and play this I don't know nothing game. Because so far you got people. That you even admit, at least with that guy, you've known him for a couple of years. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to, for the, how would he, if he's known you for a couple of years, well, how would he, like, mistakenly pick you out? I'm saying, you know, like, you're not talking about cooperating, none of that who get me out of here to see my No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what it could help, though. What? Right now, I'm going to show you, right, look, I'm going to show you this. So the case with this guy, the guy you know for a couple of years, right? Yeah, pay attention. Don't go back to sleep. Okay, you see this right here? Look at this. Whose information is that? It's your mom's address, right? In Apopka? That's your social. I'm going to here read this right here. Read the charges. What does that say? Right there. Right, where I'm in the fire. Yeah, these are warrants. I wrote these warrants last night. Actually, early this morning. Okay? Let me show you something else. This is for the bond. This is the judge's signature. This is the bond. Zero. Robbery, zero means, means there's no bond. Right? What I'm trying to make you understand is if you want to tell me that it's self defense and tell me your side of the story, right? 
I can amend this before you even get to the jail. Depending on what you tell me, maybe I can make it go away and then charge him for attacking you. But based on what you're saying right now, I can't help you. Yeah, now, the only, right. now here's, the, here's the only other thing we could talk about too. Look at me. Here's the deal. At this stage of the game, right, if it's self-defense, that needs to come out now. Because this is your opportunity in here. you got two detectives. We're, we're here for you to talk to you. That's why we're here. Right? The warrant's already signed. I don't need to talk to you. I don't want to. Let me finish. Let me finish. There's two other things you could do. There's the two R's. Recovery and remorse. Do you know what that means? What's recovery mean? Recovery like redeem. Break it down. So recovery is like this guy from last night, he says that his wallet and his home were taken, right? Trying to get his property back. I mentioned that earlier. Remorse is maybe showing that you feel bad about what happened. Doesn't mean you admit guilt. Not you're not saying, Oh, I did it or whatever, you're just saying, Hey, look, I'm bad. I feel bad that the whole thing went down the way it did. Like he attacked me. I shot him in self-defense. I feel bad about the whole thing being because I thought we were cool. I thought I'd known this guy for a couple of years. Turns out maybe we're not friends like I thought we were. That's remorse. I can't promise you this, but what I can tell you is I've been doing this 12 years. How long have you been doing this? 19. 19 years. So in our experience together, you got, you know, what, 20, 32, 30, 31 years experience total sitting here, right? In 31 years' experience, we have seen cases like this, especially when it's people that know each other. There's some sort of like acquaintance, acquaintanceship, or even almost like a friendship there, like guys know each other. It could go a long way if we help get that guy's stuff back. And sometimes they even go, you know what? I got my stuff back. I'm good. I don't want to press charges anymore. And then the whole thing goes away even better. And then it's on you if you want to press charges on him if he attacked you. And that's another conversation where they'll go, okay, well, Caleb, hey, you're the victim. You want to press charges on him. You have to work with me to try to accomplish that. That's why I asked earlier, do you have any idea where his phone is? No, really did you not. give to somebody? Did you throw it away? Yeah, like, yeah. where is it? Yeah, well, this is... It was such a fan, bro. But that shit, man, that shit will give me some time, bro. But when it was self defense, nigga was right, nigga was right, nigga was, right, nigga was on that shit, bro. You saying he was on that shit, me while he was hyped? Oh, he was on Flocka. Okay. This is just hold on one second, just to be sure. This is the guy you're talking about. Yes, mm -hmm. So for the record, this guy, his name is uh, Terrell Radford. So you're saying you saw Radford last night? Yes, bro. And was you said he was on Flocka? Yeah, bro, was on that shit, he was on Flocka. So what, what did you guys talk about? See, I don't really like to tell him just chopping nothing all the whole time. We would go off in the cut, and then Brad shot him. Did he pull a gun on you? Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me that at that point he pulls a gun on you, you're in fear for your life, so you you shoot him back? Okay. Was the gun, was it that gun right there? No. Was it a different gun? Can you describe it? I don't know my gun, but I'm being Is it, was it silver or black? Good. Black? Was it a revolver or a semi? That's a revolver. Okay. And this Facebook page, did you make this? No. This is not one. That's not one. Okay, that, okay, that's fine. Here, look. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. Look. I'm a girl on. happened page, too. Look, 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 look. I'm putting extra. A girl happened. I'm a girl. I see how she be having my page. Is this I'm you right here? Facebook. Yeah, that's me. This is you right here? Yes, sir. Can you initial that right there? Go ahead. Put your initials there. Right there and there. Okay. Who snapped life true? That's just some shit in me. Okay. Because this right here, Caleb, that's you. Yeah, and Caleb. Right. But the phone number. Call it up. I see what you What's your phone number? 407 284 I just lost that. 407 284 is what's connected to that. I just lost that yesterday, bro. You lost it yesterday? Yeah, I was out there when that shit happened, bro. Okay. I just shoot it, bro. So, last, go back to last night. You see this guy. He's high on Flocka, right? 
you guys are just talking, whatever you're thinking, what, you've known this guy for a while, you're good with him, right? You want to get some more for He was asking you for Flocka? Why? Do you sell it or something? Or? No. Okay. Do you, he's, he's, asking you, he's asking you where he can get it? Okay. So I want to get it, so I, you know, I guess he's like, shit, bro, like, I'm like, uh, yeah. So then, uh-uh. he draws a pistol on you? Yes. You turn, you shoot at him? Yeah. Okay. Whatever happened to his his phone and his wallet, because that was definitely gone. I don't, I don't find know about it, bro. I know it's not. I don't know if he was laying, so anybody could run up to him. Right. Okay. Do you know. remember where you shot him? Did you see where he shot him? I'm sure. Do you I see guess. what happened to him if he fell? Or? But you definitely shot him in self defense. Yeah, well, what, I saw him already in self defense. What, uh, what hand did you use? I used his hand. The right hand? So when you were you like looking over your shoulder as he turned away, or were you facing him like that? Like if, if he's he's the guy, Terrell, right? He's on Flocka, he's high as a kite, I'm afraid. Am I doing this like this, or am I doing this as I'm running? That one? I'm I running. See, yeah. Okay. So you're shooting with right hand. As you, I, how many rounds? I, you don't, I know a gun. I ain't know you feel me. I know it's shot a gun that like my first time. Okay. I just want to tip All right, man. man. Well, look. Man, I ain't gonna lie, to you, bro. I like, bro. It's just, I got out of prison, bro. And I ain't trying to go back, but I got to deal with it, bro. I know you got no sauce. When stories. you so when this happened, where did you run to? I went straight home to Monty House in Missouri. And what's the address there? Do you know? Yes. What's that address? It's 178. What is the it? The apartment number 178. 178? What's the address of? I don't know the address to this address. Okay. Uh, apartment 178. You know the building number? Um, what's, your, what's your auntie's name? Okay. Um, what'd you do with your gun? Well, I gave it back to who belonged to. Give it to who? I gave it back to who belonged to. He got license. Who does it belong to? I can't tell you that, sir. Okay. But you he got gun license on home to tell you he got gun license on. Okay. All right. So you get back to him, you run back to Auntie's house, and what happened when you called the police? I didn't call the police, bro. Wait a minute. I was, well, Wait, I was he scared. He scared you, right? You were defending yourself. Why'd you call? I was scared, bro. But how come, but if you're afraid in your home, why not just call us and we come out and investigate, take him to jail, you're good? Bro. You're a free man. I was scared, bro. You really think I'm going, you know, look at my record, bro. You really think I'm, he's out of prison. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Come on, man. Nah. All right. You feel me? All right, man. Look, I appreciate your honesty on that one. Um, I'm going to look into talking to that guy again and you know, see what he has to that say. Case, really? uh, that's that case, but I told you, there's the other one here. This guy right here. You sure you never seen him? I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, he also goes by a different name. I'm tell you his name that he goes by. He goes by the name of Quinn. You know by the name Quinn? Who owns a recording studio out of his apartment? He's got a little apartment right there in the apartments there next to where you're talking about. You know anything about what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. How come Quinn would say he knows you? I don't know, sir. I don't like to do it. Like, it's no joke. I might think I'm being funny, but it'd be dude around it. They got to just like me, bro. But hey, it is what it is, bro. I know, bro. I, bro, I like it. They don't know what bro. I'm not. We are none of this, bro. Well, it's, it's uh, the apartment complex is Brookside Apartments right off of Cinder Lane right there. It's all in the same area where you're talking about. You sure you never seen him before? Okay. Well, back on that Tuesday, let me look at the calendar. I'll tell you exactly when it was. So, late Monday night, which was the 5th, into like early Tuesday morning, but like late Monday night, right around midnight at 11.30. Um, you remember being in that apartment complex there? Off of Cinder Lane? Because he, again... For whatever it's worth, he said he had met you a couple months ago. His roommate, the little guy, Nicholas King, said he'd met you since he moved in with Quinn. He moved in with Quinn off of a Craigslist ad. He answered, Quinn had an ad. So on October 29th, he moved in there. So Quinn, 
and this little guy Nicholas have been living there as roommates. Quinn uses his apartment as like a little recording studio. He had a bunch of recording equipment and all that kind of stuff. And he said that, so they both said they'd known you for some time. Quinn had known you for a couple months. Nicholas had known you since he moved in, saw you several times. Look, Nicholas showed me his phone. He, he, he gave me consent, actually, to look at his phone. We have his phone in evidence. And I was able to go into his phone, <coughs> exactly your number. And even Quinn, okay. Quinn remembered your number, and he said that your number, I'll, look, I'll show you my notes. He said, oh, his number's 407284, something, 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 something. Bro, said recording on my phone, calling my CSD. My brother has my phone more than I do. Listen, and but, he this, knows him. but this happened back in the 5th or 6th. Like late in the 5th, early in the 6th was a week ago when this happened. So it was before you lost your phone. You say you just lost your phone. Yeah. Right, this is a week ago. Okay, this is last yeah, night. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, I do not be having my phone, bro. Who is, who is your, uh, your brother? Your brother. Oh, no, using my phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just said yeah. you Okay, well then, and then here's the thing. Because here's what you're looking at. With this case here, it's a home invasion, and it's also attempted murder. But two charges on that one because you have him. He told me you shot him in the arm. The other guy said you shot him in the chest, but it was on an angle. So I went in here, came out by the armpit. He's alive. Right? But shooting him right in the middle of the chest, definitely attempted murder. Because anybody going to say, yeah, you shoot a guy in the chest, you're trying to kill him. The problem is this, they both say they've known you for some time, provided your phone number, which led me to this, the Facebook account, which you even said in initial, Dan, that's you. And they both said they've known you for a while, and both of them look at the picture and go, yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy that came in here. So my question on that one is, like the first one we just talked about, you said it was self-defense. In this case here, did something, when you were hanging out in that apartment, I know you guys are laying out some raps or whatever you're doing. Did something go bad? Was there a conversation that went I sideways? I don't know or? man, bro. I don't know the, I don't know the man, sir. That's all I'm going to see. Niggas is just trying to see me back on the road, bro. I don't know the man, bro. That's all I do what I got to do, bro. But how do you explain... I'll see my jit one day, bro. Listen, how do you explain that they know you they're able to provide your phone numbers. They have your phone number in their phones. Not get what I say, bro. My brother, they always be messing with my phone. Bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want my love, bro. I want my brother. got nothing to do with this. I got nothing to do with him. It really don't got nothing to do with me. Oh, it's got nothing to do with him. It's got something to do with you. What? Bro, listen, bro. So what's, what's going on right now, Detective? Oh. Oh, hold on. Detective Javier has, a, has a, something to talk to you about. Yeah, Caleb, I'm following up on something that happened back on the uh, December the 3rd over at the uh, Village Springs apartment, you know, right down the street there, it's in the lane. Uh, found you met a gentleman uh, at a bus stop back on November the 23rd, and you and him struck up a somewhat of a, you know, casual con you know, conversation, relationship, and you set up to meet uh, on the 3rd with his two roommates. Um, they also had your phone number on their phone. The one that, I even called it, and I know you answered the phone. Remember that? A few days ago? I talked to your grandmother and your mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Just talk for me, yeah. yeah, that was you. You said your name was Steve. So, um... And the guy that said that uh, you told this guy, uh, his name is... Last name is... Sean, so you referred to yourself as Steve as well. That's him. Remember him? Mm, well, he remembers you. So I. Mm, and his roommate, so you you met you met up and went to his his apartment. Uh, you were late, and Sean said that he just went to sleep. And when his roommates came back from work, you were waiting outside, and you let him inside the apartment. And that's when everything happened. Where all this proof at? What's that? Where where are all the proof at, bro? What that they said it was you and your phone number? Yeah. The phone number. Right. Uh, I'm just asking. I'm just asking you what happened. Right. Was there right. something more to the story yeah. that happened between right. you and uh, and Sean yes, and the sir. roommates, or something yes, that he? Listen, sir. My older brother is homosexual. He got a whole bunch of friends. They they boost. 
They sell clothes. So I might know one of them. Who's your brother? You know, I have a lot. Is it J A M A L? Yeah. 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 Y
When you have people that sort of know of each other, they're kind of acquainted, right? You know what acquaintances are? Yeah, friends. Sort of. So usually friends know each other. Like loose friends. You see them occasionally, once in a while. Acquaintances is like maybe a guy I know because I see him around or maybe I worked with him for a little bit or whatever. Maybe I know his first name, but I don't know his first name, last name, date of birth, and all this information, but we're acquainted, right? Usually it's when we meet somebody, like, say I'm friends with Joel, straight up friends, and Joel one day introduces me to somebody. I could then say, that guy he introduced me with, we're now acquainted, because it's through him. Yeah. Like if I introduce you to him, or vice right. versa, to you. He introduced me to, like, his brother. I never met his brother, but one day we're at a party, hey, this is my brother. I was like, cool. Okay? These people from, no, I'm not talking about the self-defense thing, blah, 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 blah. but in the self-defense one, too, because you basically admitted that you guys are acquaintances. But yeah. these people that have your phone number, they're, so they're claiming that they are acquainted with you, right? That's what they tell me, which could be a lie. Could be a, could be completely bullshit. That's it. Right? Absolutely. I agree with you. It could be completely yeah. bullshit. Because for all I know, maybe they got shot. They don't know who did it, but there's a guy that they don't like that they want to put that charge on to get him back for something unrelated, right? Maybe, maybe that guy stole from them and they're like, you know what, fuck that guy. I got shot, the police ain't gonna catch the guy who shot me, but I'm gonna put the charge on that guy because I got a beef with him and we're acquainted, right? So there could be a million different reasons why they might do it, sure. They're saying that they're acquainted with you and they're both able to provide your phone number. And then I go on to Metro PCS on their website and they tell me that the phone, in fact, belongs to you. Yeah. Then they put it in Facebook, and it comes up to your Facebook account with pictures you want there. Mm. So then when I show them, when I figure out who you are, right? Because Metro PCS has Caleb Hayward, the date of birth, right? I see the name Caleb up here. Comes back to this picture. Looks like your picture on your DL and stuff like that. I know I'm looking at the right guy. I'm, I'm looking at the same person, right? It's all Caleb Hayward. I bring him pictures of Caleb Hayward. They go, yeah, dude, how'd you do it? They were like, holy shit, how'd you find out? How'd ask the guy? So well, that's what we do. So my point is this. You got to understand, from your perspective, dude, you're in a sinking ship right now. This is your own, I promise you, this is your only chance to try to mitigate some of this damage that's happening. That happened, that happened. I'm going to explain it to you. Uh-huh. Just like in the first one, I tell you, self-defense. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. These other cases, right? Home invasion, this other thing here. Uh-huh. If it involves something else, like there was an argument. Like I can, okay, I'm going to give you my stories. Wait, you just say it. Like you got an argument with this guy. I'm just going to leave it here for now. I'm going to give you. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. That's all. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the scenario. I'm going to give you the scenario. It's so funny because I don't know who the fuck the idea is. Listen, I'm going to give you the scenario. You go over to uh, to Quinn's house. You sure you never seen Quinn? Mm -hmm. Never seen him before. You go over to Quinn's house and um, um, say Quinn owes you money. Gambling or whatever. And Quinn don't want to pay him. He's basically like, oh, fuck you. Because Quinn's a little bit a little bit older. So I could see him being like, you know what? Man, fuck that. Caleb's like a little kid. Fuck him. Yeah. He 19. He ain't growing Young cat. You don't know better. Like, yeah, like, go, whatever. Because he yeah. thinks, he, he thinks he's, he's fucking. He's no G. He thinks he is. Right? He's a piece of work, that guy. Right? I could definitely see you saying, you know what, dude? Fuck this guy. I'm going to take his equipment because it's worth money. Because the equipment's worth money. Fuck this. We're taking. The, I don't know what. The devices are like equalizers and recording equipment, whatever. You know, we're gonna take the stuff because you could probably sell it or pawn it or whatever it is. You don't know the, the freaking serial numbers for all that stuff. You know what I mean? So he can't he can't go to a pawn shop and prove that's his. And if that's what it's about, and then he gets mad and tries to say you robbed him. All right, now he came to us and said that. Now I come to you and say it, and you go, oh, I don't know nothing about nothing. Well, if you know nothing about nothing, and he said what he's saying, his story stands. But he definitely knows who you are. You guys are definitely acquainted because they both had your phone number. And they both look at your picture and go, yeah, that's the guy. I'm going to tell you this, bro. A lot of people use my phone. 
I'm a kid, I'm a kid, bro. I'm now, not, now here's I'm the thing. I'm not a killer, bro. No, 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 no. Listen, so I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a word. I'm going to tell you something else. So, they told me that that night, they said, you came in there with another guy that they, they only know his street name of, uh, maybe, mm -hmm. let me look at it. I think it was Boss. Boss. Boss? We ain't supposed to look. You know we Boss? You know his street? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Give me a second, man. Uh, I got. I got to try to find. Uh, hold on. Yeah, boss. So they tell the, their story to the police that night was this: We're sitting here. Caleb comes over with this other guy. They know him as boss, but you're the guy that they know the most from seeing you around and the phone numbers and all that. You're the only phone number they have. They said when Boss came in, Boss had, Boss had, not you, Boss had a shotgun and Boss had a revolver, right? Little argument goes around, like people get basically kind of little argument, little argument ensues, right? Boss is holding them at gunpoint, pistol whipping them and, and hitting them with a shotgun and doing whatever to the two of them. Not you, Boss did it. Two other guys that came in that they don't know because they had their shirts pulled up were taking all their equipment out. And then boss shoots them. In that case, if that's what happened, you ain't on the hook for attempted murder. You want to talk about taking property or whatever? We could talk about it. that's a property crime. I ain't worried about no property. We're robbery detectives. Yes, sir. Attempted murder is some serious shit. Yes, sir. So what I want to know is, do you know what the hell I'm talking about? Because you tell me no, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, it's like I feel like I'm doing this. I'm just talking to the wall, and yeah, well, I got what if I'm being so. dead serious though? But it, what you're saying, to, that for you to tell me that you're being dead serious doesn't add up because they they are telling me and they were able to provide evidence, the phone numbers, your phone number, in their phone. One guy knew it. The, uh, the guy, uh, this guy, Leroy. One, Leroy knew your phone number. I got you. Right? The other guy goes, I've only been living here since the end of October with Leroy as his, as his uh, roommate. But one time, I let Caleb borrow my phone. He didn't know your name, but he's like, I let that guy borrow my phone. He called his phone from mine to try to look for it. We had his phone in evidence. We had that guy's phone in evidence. He gave me permission. He signed a consent to search form. I have it in here. I can show it to you. I went over to the property in evidence section over there, plugged in his phone to the charger, got it some juice, turned it on. He gave me the passcode. Boop, 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 boop. I go to the call log, and there's the same number that Leroy provided. To you. So everything made sense. It was like, bam, bam, bam. Punch it into Facebook. Come up with the first name, Caleb. These pictures, you already said that was you. I go to Metro PCS because that's the cell phone provider. You, you know, let me ask you something. Let me ask you a question. For cops, how much time do you think it takes me? If I have just a phone number, 407, 123, 4567, how long do you think it takes me to figure out who... who the provider, the service provider is? Like, is it Metro? Is it Verizon? How long do you think that takes me? About 30 seconds. It's that fast. We have a service for law enforcement only. It's a, it's actually like a hotline. I call it up. It's all automated. I call it up. I punch in the 10 digit number. Boo boop. Hit enter right away. Service provider for that phone is just like that. It's like instant. I got another website online, a website that also provides a similar service. You punch in, you have to sign in with your you know, law enforcement credentials, they verify that you're a cop, right? You go in there, you punch in the number, it gives you also the same thing, Metro Pizza or the service provider, and just the basic subscriber info, full name and the date of birth. That takes me, as long as it takes me, as fast as I can type, as fast as I can type, I hit enter. And then the speed of light that right goes through the internet, however the internet works, the information bounces off some satellites and some servers somewhere, whatever the hell it does, and instantaneously, just like this, you see how fast it Boom, comes up, boom, Caleb Hayward, date of birth. Caleb right there. Well, I, I look at you, hold on, I look at your picture, I can see your picture. Oh yeah, I have it here. I, I look at the picture, and uh, and there you are, right? I show that to um, your photo to, to these guys, and they're like, yeah, dude, that's the guy. Holy shit, how'd you get him, crew? I'm like, Man, it's the freaking magic of the internet. I don't know what to tell you. But everything they're saying adds up. But I can see if there's more more to that story. 
Somebody else shot him. It wasn't you. Okay. Maybe they owed you money. They weren't paying up on some debt that they had for gambling or whatever it is. Okay. I get it. Taking their property was like taking payment for something they owed you. Maybe they stole from you. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they jacked you one time and you're like, fuck that. I know where these guys live. I'm going to come get my shit back. But if, if it's one of these things or all these things or a combination, you got to tell me. I can't. When you sit here and go, I don't know nothing. You're not telling me that, that I, okay, yeah, I got nothing. Seriously, bro. I just told you what happened with this first one. I don't got nothing. I don't know nothing about the other one. I'm dead serious. All right, man. Well, Detective Bobby, you got anything else? Anything else you want to tell me about that one? About your brother? Saying he's, cause, you know I called you and you said your name was Steve. So why would you want to use Steve? You just nervous? Yeah, or? bro. Yes, bro. Okay. A lot of shit going on, bro. I just lost bro. So all you had to do was talk to me on the phone. I mean, bro, no. I was going to, bro. I lost my phone the same day. So what's going on? Bro? Just tell me what's going on. What, what's well, for happen? now, you do have the warrants. You're going to go to jail, and I got to do more follow up with uh, the guy from last night and these other guys. I got to show pictures of. Uh, you phone line up with you with these other the guys. Show you the picture. Just say, hey, look at me. Last chance. chance. Last chance. Yeah. We count down from five to zero. Then shut off the recorders. You walk out of here. He, he said that when you met, you referred yourself as Steve. That's why I thought it was odd. Because I know if I show my pictures, probably gonna say, oh, no doubt. I mean, you're up close and personal. So. Hold on. Give me, give me one minute. That's, that's, that's what I was asking. Was it, was it more to the story about what was going on with, this, with these people? I've seen this all before. Tell me one minute. All right. Well, Start asking. Yeah. Take, do what y'all gonna do. Take me in, bro. Uh, I follow. I cooperated like I told you to, bro. And I told y'all what it was, bro, with the first situation. So y'all still gonna take me in, bro? Is they ain't gonna give me bond? Um, at the moment, no. But I can see if I can help you out with that. Okay. Yeah, so me, what's the charges yeah. I'm going there for? Hold well, on one second before I go any further. Yes, sir. Turn, turn your seat face to here. Stand up for me. Face towards me. So you stand up for me. No, not looking up. It's looking straight down. Right? I gotta take a picture of you. Gotta do this. So. Can you smile? You gonna show me your teeth? Go like this. Okay. Well, why not? How come you don't want to? They're gonna do it at the jail anyways. And you want me to help you out? Bro. Listen, yeah, listen bro. dude. I'm going to jail. This is a two-way street, dude. How come? What do you Why not, bro? Huh? Why, why do you want to see my teeth for? Because I got people telling me they're describing your teeth. That's what we're asking. I ain't kidding. All right, man. Listen, sit tight for a second. Officer's going to be here to transport you. Okay? Well, let me shut these off. I'm going to be able to get some numbers on my chat phone. Time book. is 17.13 and this concludes the interview. Yeah, when we get down there, we don't... Once you're there, Crusty, you'll have to get that to them. We don't... We're not going to let So, well, I'm going to tell him come over here and come get you, bro. Who? The officer. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, hey, he's over here. He's in another room. So, how long going to take him? Uh, a couple minutes. Yeah, so I, 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 just take a seat. We'll walk out there. We'll tell him you get to go. Just finish drinking your water because I know you're thirsty. Well, what charges am I going in for right now? Right now you got the warrant, but we, I mean, I'll be honest. Once we go talk to these other people, like he talks to his guy again, if he, if he points at you that he was asking you about. Who warrant? What you mean warrant? I said, what you mean about warrant? The warrant that I Somebody showed you. Subpoena? No, the warrant that you. We just showed you, that's the one. For the attempted murder and shit? Yeah. Right. Alright. Alright. What's up? Fuck all that. Fuck all that. What are you talking about, bro? What's up, Caleb? Hey, what's up, bro? I'm ready to go, bro. Say again? I'm ready to go. Alright, man, we just gotta wait a couple more things. What?
and do something, bruh. For real, bruh. I swear to God, bruh. Hey. Bro, I'm dead ass, bruh. Relax. Bro, I'm hungry, bro. I need something to eat, bro. Why don't you just say something, I don't man. care about nothing, bro. Hey. Y'all already got me in here fucked up, bro. I got jit on the way, bro. Y'all trying to send me back to prison, bro. Y'all already got me fucked up, bro. You want For to take real, a seat? bro. You can take a seat? Bro, no. Take a seat, bro. Do what y'all got to do, bro. I don't care. Tase me, bro. Shoot me. I don't give a fuck no more, bro. Do what y'all got to do, bro. For real, bro. Y'all got me fucked up, bro. I swear to God, bro. Nigga, I jit on the way. Yeah, bro. But I ain't never cried, bro. But I do want to see my bro. 
Bro, this is gonna fuck me up if it's in my dick, bro. Hey, why were you throwing stuff around? Cause, bro, I'm thinking about my dick, bro. Hey, bro. Sit, sit up, man. We're gonna get take pictures of you, then we'll get you out of here. Okay? Bro, what are you taking pictures for, bro? We, got, we have to document that we talked to you that you were in here. What you're wearing today. I don't want to take your clothes. Oh, uh, bro. Help me you want me to take bro. your clothes and leave your butt naked? Oh, nah, bro. Help me okay, up, then. Bro. So let's just get some pictures. Alright, bro. Let me up, bro. Alright, chill out, man. Chill out. You all ain't hearing me, though, bro. I'm in here talking to you. No, no, I'm not hearing me, bro. This is right here, bro. I'm gonna fuck everything up, bro. It's crazy, bro. Because, bro, I let everybody, the little bust of nigga, use my phone, bro. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Can you do me a favor? Can you sit with your back on that wall there? Uh, we gotta get these pictures. Really take a picture of listen, crying, bro. listen to me. The reason is I'm I don't, saying that you're gonna take a picture while I'm crying. Caleb, bro. hear me out. Here's the deal. Oh, Here's the deal. Yeah, so, I gotta document what you're wearing right now. No, I got two ways to do that. I can just take all your clothes and I give you a, a gown made of paper. Right, bro. Or you cooperate. I take some pictures. And we document it with photos, and you can walk out with your clothes, your shoes, your pants. Man, I'm dead, bro. I'm going to jail, but, bro. But would you not rather have that, the pictures? You are, right, bro. Okay, can so that's all this is. You ain't got nothing to eat from me, bro. Or something, bro. Uh, I, I can look around, own, but we got to do... I got I got my own money and my property, bro. What's up, bro? All right, we're ready to take the pictures. Mom just gave me $10, bro. Bro, I'm gonna take a picture while I'm crying, bro. All right, well, then, hey, we're gonna take some other pictures. Then you don't look at you ain't crying right now. You look all right. You wanna stand up? You wanna stand, stand up? Bro. Want me to help you? Yeah. Oh. Bring your feet in. Just on the face. Yeah, stand up right here. Just, yeah, just stand up straight, Caleb. Just, just, just take well, a couple quick pictures. Hey, you gotta stand straight. You gotta stand straight. I don't want to take it close. Okay, just look straight here. Just look straight here. No, yeah, just stand right here. Look straight here. Yeah, you look over here. Slide one step that way for me. There you go. Okay, still, 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 look still. straight at Okay, appreciate you. Thank you. All right, Caleb. I'll, uh, I'll give you a second one. We'll get him out. Okay. Caleb, hang on one minute. Is a uh, signal for you? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Uh, I need something to wipe my face with, it, bro. Hold on one second. Thornton, you got the uh, you got the rest of his bag. Yeah, he's got all of it. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh.
Batman. Like I said, I got no problems with you. No, I ain't no problem. I know, that's what I said. That's why I got no problems with him up there. I'm telling you no, bro. I'm not gonna let you blow it because I'm not gonna get hit for stop, but I'll get you to wipe it. Stand up. Yeah. 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 Alright. Yeah. 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 Yeah.